die for this. So Jesus didn't die for the sin of he unbelief. He died for the sin. Like his blood oh. covered the okay. sin. Okay. He, okay, so he died for all the sins, right? If Chris Except for Christ unbelief. At age 30. Okay, at age 29, he's lost. Right. Okay, but and when he accepts Christ at 30, Christ isn't going to then die for him. He's already no, 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 done. No, he already did it 2,000 years so ago. So it's a historical fact that's been done. That's right. So at the time he died, those sins that John was going to commit were already covered and paid for. Before That's he right. ever accepted Christ, I agree with that. What, I'm, what I disagree with is the person that never comes to Christ, that never puts his faith in Christ. Did Jesus die for those sins? Because if he did, if he paid for those sins, if he was an atoning sacrifice for those sins, then God would have nothing against him, and he would admit him into heaven, except for his unbelief. So Jesus didn't die for the sin of unbelief. He did, but it's unbelief. It's failure to, to believe and have faith that that prevents you from getting saved, not not the fact that you've sinned. So it's a potentially atoning sacrifice. It's not an actually atoning sacrifice. No, I'm saying it's actually atoning. No, not for that lost person that never comes to Christ. It's potentially. It's there, but he has chosen no, for that person that not to activate Christ, it. Christ, his debt has been paid. It's, it's, it's like then you got, he wouldn't go to heaven. It's like then you got a Visa heaven. card and, and, and you owe a $1,000 on it. Mm -hmm. And I pay the $1,000. Mm -hmm. That, that $1,000 is paid whether you ever accept the gift or not. Right. I agree. Okay, but if you never accept the gift, then it's like, for you, it's like it never happened even though it happened. Well, let's say you paid my Visa bill and I didn't accept that, whatever that means. Would the creditors call me? Would Visa call me trying to collect? No, because you'd already paid him. So in the same way, God, if, if Jesus paid for all of these sins, then when, when that person gets to heaven, uh, when that person is judged, God will say, okay, your sins are paid for. Come into my kingdom. Because that's what atoning sacrifice means. It doesn't... And, and you know, you know, in order for it not to mean that, you would have to say Jesus didn't die for the sin of unbelief. Mm -hmm. So he died for huh? most sins, but not all sins. What? So I believe that Jesus died for all the sins of his people, and he was an he was an atoning sacrifice for his people. But all of his people are going to come to faith because he's going to bring them to faith. It says, ask Todd in one sentence what he believes our purpose on this earth is. And when he says our, I think he's meaning Christian. Yeah. Our purpose on earth is to glorify God. That's exactly what he said. He says, FYI, don't tell Todd until he answers. I believe it is to praise God. If Todd tries to simplify theological purpose to one sentence, it is likely he will have a similar answer, which is true. The follow-up is, I don't believe God would give us a purpose and then make it impossible so we all have the chance to praise God in our earthly life and throughout eternity. So is he, it, I guess he's saying that, I mean, does this have, I mean, is he, is he asking this question based in, in reference to like reformed theology? And, yeah, and the answer is God is glorified in the, uh, in the praises of his people and he's glorified in creation. And he's also glorified in the, uh, the just punishment of those who reject him. So when he sends uh, somebody to hell, it's not uh, because he's mean. It's because he's righteous and just. And the only reason why any of us aren't going to hell is because of his grace and forbearance. So I think... Based on the follow-up question, it sounds like he thinks God is only glorified when we glorify him uh, or praise him. But, and that's true, but God is also glorified in the punishment of the wicked as well.
Everyone that made this video possible, Lance, right on. <laughs>